wait, that's the wrong summertime. <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome to Much Ado About Gaming. My name is Jessa Blackthorne. I'm so happy to have you here today. And I am really excited for today's show. As you can see, I have got my loudest shirt on. Because, you know, I had, to, I had to bring the 90s vibes for this very exciting game that we're going to talk about today. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. I am certainly having a great time. Uh, let me know if there's any trouble hearing me, any trouble with anything. Of course, I've got a really cool show, so I don't want to, you know, have something be off technically and then you miss out on all the awesomeness of the show. Noodles is also very excited for this show. He loves summer, you know, despite being a penguin from the Arctic. Penguins surprisingly love summer. <coughs> Excuse me, maybe they learned it from the snowmen. Who knows? How is everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing awesome. I just got to check one thing here. Excuse me. Ooh. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, we are going to get started now. For those of you who are following WizKids social media, uh, you already have a good sense of what uh, we're talking about today. For those of you who don't, uh, very, very uh, exciting, but uh, we're going to dive right in with the board game news. We have announced a brand new card game that is coming out, and we are combining that announcement today with our unboxing. But first, let's talk about the game. The game is called... DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Summertime. Now, if you grew up in the 90s, you know the song Summertime. It was a jam. We all rocked out to it. You know, I, I was in elementary school, but I remember the song. I, I remember jamming to it when I was growing up. So hopefully, you know, if you remember the song, great. If you don't, it is a fantastic song. You should absolutely check it out. It is a banger for the summer. So much fun. And we have gone ahead and brought you a card game based on the song and it is so cool it's the perfect companion for the summer which is great because it's coming out this summer it releases next month july so super quick release perfect for you know barbecues chilling maxin relaxin you know what i'm talking about so what is summertime let's talk about it summertime uh is a card game uh, it's designed by Omari Akil. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Omari, if I mispronounced your name, I am so sorry. Um, but in the game, you are invited to hang out with DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince at the hottest spots in Philly. You will cruise, groove, and unwind across town trying to vibe with them to prove that you're the coolest one in the crew. Uh, so you, you know, you're trying to build up your energy uh, and keep up with everyone else so that you can win the crown and that you are the coolest, prove that you're the coolest in the crew. It's, it's a quick and clever card game. Uh, I have a copy of it right here. We're unboxing it today. It does not like my green screen. Um, it's like a quick and clever little card game where players are kind of trying to outwit each other, uh, with a series of different decisions. You earn cool points by traveling to different spots, uh, around Philly and trying to play action, energy, and boost cards. That way you end up with the most energy at a spot and then you claim that spot. Each player also has a different unique vibe and you're trying, you earn bonus points if you uh, win a spot that matches that vibe at the end of the game. So you wanna try and match your vibe to the spot but you also wanna collect the most spots and that's, that's, that's kind of what you're doing. You're building up your points that way. Uh, the player with the most cool points at the end of the game wins and it is, it's a fun little game. It's, it's a nice 20 minute, you know, chill hangout game. It is, <laughs> Brandon, I will, we'll find out when we unbox it very soon. Um, yeah, so it, it's just, you know, a quick little card game, but it's got a lot of deep gameplay and it actually has a ton of replayability because the order that you draw the spots onto the table is different every game. Mike, I agree, noodles would win every time. Um, but, you know, it, it does change every time, so you're not, your strategy is never going to be the same also because you're also going to have a different vibe every time. But 
you know, that's that's the basics of it. If you want to get a first look at the rule book, you'll notice the rule book is not up on our website. And that is because our rule book for this game for now is exclusively over on Rolling Dice and Taking Names. You will see their website on uh, the next screen where I will show you the unboxing. Uh, head over to RollDiceTakeNames.com. They have the rule book. They're uh, showing it off exclusively there. So definitely check it out if you want to see what the full rules of this game are like. But for now, we will... Oh, I should mention, of course, I mean, you see it on the screen, but just in case. It's a two to four player game for ages 10 and up. It plays in 20 minutes and it's $19.99. So perfect price point. You know, pick it up before you head to a barbecue, before you head to a hangout session, before you go chill with your friends. Uh, and two to four players is just a really great number, especially for such a quick game, because even if you're at a larger event, you know, people can take turns playing and it won't last a super long time. So that's another great aspect of this game. So uh, without further ado, let's continue on to the unboxing. Do, do, do. Unboxing time, yay! All right, so here I have summertime. Now, of course, it looks a little weird because of my green screen behind me, so it won't look, the, the like, the text is a little odd, and there's a lot of, like, yellowish green, which the green screen is trying to pull, so don't worry about that. It's, it doesn't look like that. It looks like the photos in real life, so, you know, if you're concerned about, like, it looks weird and reflective, it's not. It, it looks fine. It looks awesome. Super fun, like I said. Loudest shirt, matching my shirt. Love it. I never get to wear this shirt, so, like, when I wear it, I, I have a great time. Alright, give me one second here and we will get started on this unboxing. Cool! Alright, so as you can see, this is the box. I just showed it. Um, it really digs into that theme. You have like the, the Philadelphia skyline here, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can't really... Uh, the light today, the sun is not cooperating with me, y'all. All right, uh, back of the box. Also, you can see on our website, do do do. Yeah, I apologize that the lighting is not being my friend today. Usually it cooperates, today it does not want to. Oh well, happens, life happens. All right, so first up we have the rule book. Now, if you wanna actually get a look at this, it's a trifold, so it's double-sided. Uh, uh, all right, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close, I can't close the blinds, crap, can I? Ooh. All right, hopefully that helps a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that, that's so much better. Thanks guys, sorry about that. Uh, so this is the rule book, it's trifold. You can see it in its full glory. Uh, just go to RollDiceTakeNames.com, you can see that above my head. Check it out there, uh, read everything, learn how the game plays. It's a great game. Uh, the rulebook will be available on our website soon, but definitely go check out. I mean, even if you don't read the rulebook, Rolling Dice and Taking Names is an awesome podcast about board gaming. Uh, the guys who run it, Tony and Marty, are awesome. Uh, so definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, moving on to the box. Uh, it is just, this is a basic card game, so no, you know, crazy components. Uh, I messed up the insert a little bit when I was opening the box. That was me. But you can see it's just got, you know, straightforward insert, real simple. And then these are the cards. Now, the game comes with, and I have to do math, uh, 32, 44, 4 plus 5 is 9, so that's uh, 59, uh, 69, 74, 79, 80, 81 cards. If I, if I, if my math is correct, which it might not be, but if it's correct, it's 81 cards. Um, so they're all right here. They are all wrapped in plastic when you open the box. That's why I was late. I was taking the plastic off everything so you wouldn't have to hear the crumple of the plastic. Um, but so I'm just going to kind of go through each of the cards and kind of explain a little bit about what they do. Let me just separate them. And let me tell you, the backgrounds on all of these cards are like really rad. Like this is all theme. It 
it re- we really went for it, I think, was the aesthetic on this game, and I love it. I think it's so much fun. Alright, so I'm just putting these in different piles, and then we will go through what each of the cards does. Do, do, do. Alright. 80 cards, not 81. I The rule book was counted because I can't read. <laughs> Uh, yes, both Ministry of Dice and Rolling Dice and Taking Names are awesome board game podcasts. Both of you are great. Definitely check out any board game pod. If you want to recommend some board game co- podcasts to me, I'm always listening. You can reach out to me on Twitter at the underscore Blackthorn. I would love to hear about it. Uh, I, I always need new podcasts to listen to when I'm driving. So please show me your favorites. Um, all right, let's, let's get started talking about these cards. So, I am going to start with the, hmm, what should I start with? We'll start with the action cards, which are the ones that I can't find. Player action, did I? Oh, that's because I put them down in the wrong place. Alright, so these are the action cards. Again, uh, it's not getting along with the green screen. It's like a dark tealy. it's kind of like a, it's like halfway between mint and teal green but my, you know, camera just sees it as green. So, hopefully I have a table for these soon. Uh, So you can see uh, what they look like. The font's really fun. And these are just different actions that you can take on your turn. So when you go to a spot, you play these action cards, and the action cards are going to allow you to uh, do things like gain more energy, for example, with the cruise action card. Um... The groove action card allows you to change the vibe. So different things like that. They, they give you different uh, abilities and allow you to... These are kind of the cards you play as you're trying to win a spot each round. Um, so uh, you don't have to take an action. Um, but each of the actions kind of does different things. Some of them allow you to draw boost cards, uh, which you can play in future rounds. Um, after everyone plays their cards, then, uh, they also gain energy cards, which are these, which we will look at next. All the players, players start with both action and energy cards at the top of the game. Um, so these are what the energy cards look like, and I I can't get over these patterns. I love it. Uh, it reminds me of, like, does anybody remember fast food restaurants in the 90s when they went, like, all in on the weird patterns because that's what these remind me of and I absolutely love it. It's it's a real throwback and who doesn't love a good throwback? And if you didn't live through the 90s, that's okay. You will definitely get the vibe from this game. So these are the energy cards. Um, the player who uh, get, has the most energy at a spot uh, wins the spot and they place the spot card in front of them face up. I'm doing a bad job of explaining this game because I have not played it yet. So everything I've read, I've read the whole instructions, but I'm one of those people who until you actually play the game, I kind of, like that's how I grasp the rules. So I'm gonna play this before the next time we talk about this on the show. I didn't get a chance to play it last night, but I am excited to play it. So definitely, you know, we'll we'll talk about this game further. hoping to get Omari to come on the show. Omari, if you're listening, message me. (laughs) Um, So next up, we have the uh, player vibe cards. So each player during the game, ah, my hair looks weird. Each player during the game has a unique vibe. Every player gets uh, a different vibe. And uh, the way that works is that for each spot card that you collect during the game that matches the vibe, you get extra cool points. So the vibes are things like Buzzin, which has a cute little bee on it. I think that's adorable. Buzzin, Chillin, Hustlin, Maxin, and of course, Relaxin. It's... This song is not going to be out of my head for quite a long time. This is so much fun. Um, So the spots, let's talk about the different spots that you can go to during the game and win cards from. 
first spot we have is the family reunion and as you can see the vibe of that spot appears to be buzzin it is considered a party which i guess is the category of the card uh, and it is worth two cool points next up we have the cookout the cookout is also a party and it has got a chillin vibe and it is worth one point one day i'll get good left and right uh, next up, we have a block party, and the block party is Maxin as its uh, vibe, and it is also a party worth one cool point. Uh, the basketball court, which I guess is, uh, the category is called kicks, so I'm guessing it's like you're kicking back at the basketball court. Um, and it is a hustling category, and it is worth one cool point, and it also... If you have two kicks spots at the end of the game, you get an extra cool point. So it adds another layer of strategy that you have onto the game. Uh, the mall is another kicks category uh, spot. Uh, another one where if you have two of them, you get an extra cool point. And this one is worth two cool points by itself. The car, sp the car wash, I tried to say the car spot. Uh, the category is cars. Uh, it is a buzzin category spot, and it is worth an extra cool point if you have two cars category uh, spots. Worth one cool point. The car show, which is Maxin. Uh, cars, one if you have two cars, and then worth two cool points. The salon, which is a relaxin category. Uh, so the uh, category for this one is beauty, but what it says at the bottom here is you get an extra cool point for each beauty and party theme you have. So it, it it's not, you don't just have to have beauty ones, you can also get party ones and still get credit, is what it sounds like to me. Uh, two cool points. The barber shop, also beauty category, same thing on the bottom here with both beauty and party and it is worth two cool points. And finally, we have the, the Plateau, which is a park, and it is worth three cool points, and it is a chillin' theme. So there's a different, as you can see, there's a different vibe, I don't know why I said theme. There's a different vibe for every spot, and that's where you wanna match your player vibe to the vibes of the spots you collect. Uh, there are other ways and, you know, types of strategies you can do, you can, you know, you can shoot to match all your spots, you can shoot to do kind of the set collection thing and collect pairs of spots or collect, you know, like the beauty one where you could collect beauty and party. So there's, there's different options, uh, which means your strategy is going to change every time you play. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about the energy cards really fast because I feel like I didn't do them justice. So the energy cards you can collect during the game. Um, and, hold on one second, I'm looking at this rule book to confirm that I am explaining this correctly. No, you play energy cards as you, uh, are trying to win a spot. So, for example, you can play this energy card, but if the spot is maxin, it's worth two energy cards. So it's worth two energy instead of just one energy. Uh, the same with hustlin. And then there's chillin'. There's one for each category. But, and also there's color categories, which is really cool. Um, I think, does each player choose a color? Is that, let's see. Yeah, so each player gets three action and eight energy cards of the same color. It looks like out of the box, maybe I shuffled it without thinking, that's possible. Um, but each, uh, you're supposed to get cards of the same color together, so um, each player, it looks like, has a unique color that they're collecting these cards of. Um, but there are, the colors are pink, orange, green, and blue. Yeah, four. Uh, pink, orange, green, and blue. So, different colors allow you to, um, that's, that's your character color. Character color? That's your player color. I, I am, I am being a person today. We should all be people every day. I don't know what that means. Um, uh, this is the tiebreaker card. Now, what the tiebreaker card does um, is it's placed at the end of the game 
or at the end of a round, yeah, at the end of a round, uh, the player with the least total energy gets the tiebreaker card, and uh, before you flip over the new spot, and if it's tied, if the spot is tied, the spot goes to the first tied player clockwise from the player who last had the tiebreaker. So it it it's basically determines how who wins in the who wins the spot in a case of the tie for the most energy. Now the last thing that we have here are boost cards. Boost cards uh, basically also add to your energy, but you can't play them on the same turn that you get them. So you play them on the next turn. Um, so once uh, after the after the um, the spot is revealed. Uh, Players will select one action and one energy card to play, but they also can select a boost card along with the two other cards that they played if they have them. So that's, players are simultaneously choosing that, placing it face down, and then everyone flips faced up at once. Um, and then players uh, can cancel actions and then take actions. So the boost cards, I didn't really, it's just, they're all kind of the same. Uh, they are green. So that's what you're seeing and why they look crazy. They are green. Um, they have a cool like, you, oh, that's cool. You can see the, uh, the boom box nice and clear there. Uh, so they're green boost cards. They add basically extra energy. Um, and those are all of the cards and all of the stuff for DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince Summertime. Uh, like I said, I, um, I'm going to be playing this hopefully this weekend, fingers crossed, and I will be talking about it more on the show soon, talking about the playthrough, hopefully maybe talking to the designer if, if everything works out according to plan. Um, but if you want to get a first look at the rule book, you know, see what it's all about, really get a really good sense of how it's going to play, head on over to RollDiceTakeNames.com. They are hosting the rule book uh, right on their site. Uh, and it's really, really fun, really, really cool looking. So definitely check it out. Check out their podcast. Uh, don't forget tomorrow on, uh, here on the WizKids Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're watching, uh, V will be live with Mini Mayhem. Definitely check her out. Uh, same time, noon EST. She has a great show lined up for you. Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, I am at V underscore Blackthorn. Blackthorn is spelled... B-L-A-C-K-T-H-O-R-N-E. Uh, so it has an E at the end, so keep that in mind. I would love to chat with you if you have any questions about the game, uh, any suggestions of any, you know, podcast I should listen to, any cool board game stuff to share, you can tweet me there. I would love to hear from you. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you are relaxing and unwinding. Um, I certainly am. Uh, it's, you know, it's great that it's finally summer. I'm excited to chill and hang out and play this game. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, I love you. Noodles loves you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.